Dinosaurs were around for a long long time. That's a lot of meals. And you know what? They didn't all eat the same thing. Just like animals today, dinosaurs had different tastes and ways of getting their food. Some dinosaurs were big and bulky. They munched on plants all day. Others were fast and fierce, chasing down their next meal. We can tell what dinosaurs ate by looking at their teeth. Teeth are like tools. They're shaped for specific jobs. Think about it. You use a fork for salad and a knife for steak, right? Dinosaurs' teeth work the same way. Sharp, pointy teeth were great for ripping and tearing flesh. Flat teeth were perfect for grinding up plants. Now let's dig in and discover the dinnertime habits of these amazing ancient creatures. We'll explore the world of dinosaur diets and see how their teeth were the perfect tools for the job. Get ready to learn about plant eaters, meat eaters, and even some dinosaurs that liked a little bit of both. It's going to be a wild ride through the age of dinosaurs. Let's start with the biggest eaters of the bunch, the herbivores. These plant-powered giants needed to eat a lot to fuel their massive bodies. Imagine a giant salad bowl filled with ferns, cycads, and conifers. That was lunch for dinosaurs like the Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus had small, peg-like teeth. These teeth weren't great for chewing, but they didn't need to be. They used their teeth to strip leaves off branches. Then they swallowed the leaves whole. Their stomachs were powerful enough to break down all that tough plant material. Another famous herbivore was the Triceratops. You know this dinosaur, right? Three horns, a big frill, and a beak-like mouth. Triceratops had hundreds of teeth packed together in their cheeks. These teeth acted like scissors, slicing through tough plants. They loved to eat ferns and cycads. Their strong jaws and sharp beaks helped them tear off huge mouthfuls of plants. Then they used their teeth to chop everything up before swallowing. Talk about a prehistoric salad chomping champion. Now let's move on to the carnivores. These were the meat-eating dinosaurs, and they had the teeth to prove it. One look at a Tyrannosaurus rex skull, and you know this dinosaur was made for munching meat. T-Rex had teeth the size of bananas. They were serrated too like a steak knife. These teeth weren't for chewing. They were for grabbing, tearing, and ripping flesh. T-Rex would use its powerful jaws to crush bones too. Talk about a bone-chilling bite. Another fearsome predator was the Velociraptor. This dinosaur was smaller than T-Rex, but just as deadly. Velociraptors had long, sharp teeth that curved backwards. This helped them hold on to their prey. They would use their claws to slash at their victims, then go in for the kill with their teeth. Imagine being chased by a pack of these guys. Carnivores had strong necks and powerful jaws. This helped them tear off chunks of meat and swallow them whole. Some carnivores, like the Baryonyx, had special adaptations for catching fish. Section 4. In-Betweeners Adaptable Eating Habits Not all dinosaurs were strict herbivores or carnivores. Some dinosaurs called omnivores liked a little bit of both. These dinosaurs had teeth that could handle both plants and meat. One example is the oviraptor. This dinosaur had a beak-like mouth similar to a parrot. This beak was great for eating all sorts of things like eggs, insects, and even small animals. They also had some teeth in the back of their mouths for grinding up tougher food. Another omnivore was the gallimimus. This dinosaur had a long, slender neck and a small head. Its beak-like mouth was perfect for pecking at the ground, searching for insects, small animals, and plants. Omnivores were adaptable eaters. This meant they could survive in different environments and eat whatever was available. They were the ultimate survivors of the dinosaur world. Section 5. More than just teeth. Clues from the past. Teeth are an amazing way to learn about dinosaur diets, but they're not the only clue. Paleontologists like me also look for other evidence to piece together the dinosaur dining puzzle. For example, fossilized poop, called coprolites, can tell us what dinosaurs actually ate. We can analyze the contents of coprolites to identify plant material, bones, or even scales. This gives us direct evidence of a dinosaur's last meal. Another clue comes from fossilized footprints. By studying the spacing and depth of footprints, we can learn about a dinosaur's size, weight, and even its speed. This can help us understand how dinosaurs hunted or foraged for food. Sometimes, we even find fossilized stomach contents preserved with dinosaur skeletons. This is like finding a prehistoric lunchbox. By examining these remains, we can get a snapshot of a dinosaur's diet and understand what it ate on a regular basis. Section 6. The Web of Life. Dinosaurs' Place at the Prehistoric Dinner Table. 
Dinosaur diets were incredibly diverse, just like the dinosaurs themselves. From towering herbivores to fierce carnivores and adaptable omnivores, each dinosaur played a vital role in its ecosystem. Herbivores kept plant populations in check, preventing any one species from taking over. Carnivores like the T-Rex kept herbivore populations balanced and ensured the health of the ecosystem. Omnivores with their flexible diets helped to link different parts of the food web. They ate a variety of foods, connecting plants and animals in a complex web of life. By studying dinosaur diets, we gain a deeper understanding of prehistoric ecosystems and how they functioned. We see how energy flowed through the food web from plants to herbivores to carnivores. Dinosaurs may be extinct, but their fascinating feeding habits continue to amaze and inspire us. By piecing together the clues from their teeth, bones, and even their fossilized poop, we can bring these ancient creatures back to life and appreciate the incredible diversity of life that once roamed our planet.